And the moment you mention the notion of human rights, it really depends firstly who you are, where you stand, your ideological outlook. Um, the concept itself of human rights tend to be much more uh, popularized uh, in the Western world, where it's so limited. Uh, it's limited to issues of elections, um, good governance, but it's mainly pro-business, uh, opening up uh, of society, free movement of people, uh, activities of big companies, and that's the trend we've been having um, in our lifetime. We tend to look at this minimalist way of human rights. But what we wish to do uh, in this session, and thanks to higher education uh, media, uh, as well as the ADF, um, African Diaspora uh, Forum, uh, who are heading this session. We really want to go much more deeper that when we talk about human rights, we're talking the rights that are enshrined in our constitutions, the rights that are enshrined in the AU, the rights that are enshrined in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights as far back as 1948. We need to go much more deeper and ask that <coughs> what we are talking about, it goes beyond the ballot box. Because the moment you talk about human rights, uh, the very first thing uh, are politicians who want to get into power and their right to get into state house and the freedom to govern. We really want to talk in terms of those rights are important that we have the right to vote, we have the right of movement, but fundamentally we also have to have the right of the belly to have something to eat, to move in a road that has bridges, no potholes, um, <coughs> right to education, a right to 24 7 uh, power. It has become a huge crisis, particularly in Southern Africa, where load shedding become a norm. Um, we reach a point where people are shocked when they have 24 hours electricity. It's becoming abnormal to have 24 hour electricity. And we need to normalize that the right to education, the right to eat, the right to move, right to employment, the right of environment that you need to breathe fresh air that is not poison. These rights are all important. And this is a critical year for us as Africans. Our continent, the AU, will reach its 60th birthday this year. From the 25th of May 1963 to the 25th of May 2023. This is six years and we need to celebrate and there can never be a better way of celebrating the AU without asking fundamental question regardless of which unit these territories that we have um, out of 55 African countries. We're speaking as Africans, we're not zooming to any specific unit um, and the preoccupation we have as Africans. That in 1963, our leaders, our people, dreamt of an Africa that is fully integrated, an Africa whose people are free to move anywhere, any part of the continent. We had um, a dream of self-determination of all Africans. This includes Western Sahara. We had a dream that our people will have the right to participate at the world stage as equal to others. 